So hello and welcome along to another edition of Isolation Interviews for Hospital Radio Reading and for my YouTube channel. And uh, here is Neighbours Special number three. Following on from the success of my first two specials, obviously episode one, if you haven't seen it, please go and check it out. The amazing guests are Alan Fletcher, who plays Dr. Carl Kennedy. Um, of course, the fantastic Jeff Payne, who plays Clive Gibbons. And Lucinda Cowden, who plays Melanie Pearson. Um, that went down so well. I then did a part two where my guests were the fantastic uh, Jacinta Stapleton, who plays Amy Greenwood, and Ben Hall, who plays Ned Willis. Uh, now we're super excited that I've managed to uh, put together a third special. I don't know if this is my last special yet. I'm hoping to maybe try and do one more um, but we'll see we'll see how it goes um but I, I had to do a third one for you now we've recently had the news of course that neighbors will be bringing its final episode forward originally we thought it was going to be uh, broadcast on the 1st of august it now looks like it's going to be happening on i believe it's the 28th of july so a friday here in the uk or the 27th the thursday if you're in australia so the normal episode will go out as normal at 1 45 and six o'clock um, during the day on Friday and then the final episode the prime time special the hour-long special will go out between 9 and 10 on channel 5 on the Friday so all very exciting we've started to see some teasers and trailers coming out with regards to what's going to happen I'm super excited and I can't wait to see it all unfold We'll try not to do any spoilers. I won't talk about what's going to happen um, going forward because I, I think I think like a lot of other people are saying, let's let's try and keep it as secret as possible. Um, but yes, we have done a third episode, and I'm super excited that we've kind of got a mini Rodwell reunion um, because my guests today are the fantastic Candy Slask, who of course plays Wendy Rodwell, and Emerald Chan, who plays Sadie Rodwell. Super excited these. Two Two were such a pleasure to speak to so yeah thank you for joining me hope you enjoy my neighbors special part three and without further ado let me hand over to uh, myself and my guests so yes welcome along to another edition of isolation interviews my neighbors special part three i'm very excited to bring part three to you and i'm joined by Yay. two of the rodwells first of all we've got the fantastic candy slask and we've also got the amazing emerald chan thank you both for joining me how are you Oh, oh good. Great. Yeah. Now, I imagine as well, this is kind of a, a bittersweet time for you both because obviously, joining an amazing show like Neighbours, you've both been part of it for sort of the last year ish. Um, I mean, first of all, I come to you, Candice. What has it been like joining such an iconic show? What's it been like? How has it been? Um, yeah, it's it's really funny because words can't really describe how it happened. I was only meant to be in one episode and the way that I, I, you probably saw the article that um, the head writer Shane said that they were watching the episode and it they were like, oh, this could be, you know, a new character and they wrote it and I was blown away. And so joining the show was unexpected. And I think it's one of those things with life. You don't, like I was going to give up acting. I was ready to move away. And then this happened and I was just getting there and meeting everyone who I'd seen on television and watching the show. It was, I think a dream come true sounds really cliche. <laughs> but at the same time, so many people try to get on this show, even as an extra and you don't succeed. So the position that Em and I are in, um, it's just, I, I wouldn't have thought it would have happened. And I'm so grateful that I had, even at the end, even towards the end, very grateful that I was a part of this. The last family on Ramsey Street. I mean, I was going to say, that for, I mean, for me, I think the first time that I realised that you know, Wendy was going to be an interesting character was the dynamic that she had with Roxy and that sort of friendship that they built. Um, I mean, that must have been quite nice to do those scenes. Oh, I was, when I worked, when I actually worked with Zimmer, I was like, it felt so natural and we were bouncing off each other and it was so bubbly um, and it just felt so real. And then she was leaving. And I was like, oh, that, that story could have been really interesting to go into. And 
it's really weird. Like I think back and that was in, gosh, just, just January that we shot that. And it feels like so much longer ago. <laughs> <laughs> just, but yeah, you're right. It was that when she came in and she met Kyle and was talking um, at the back of the Canning's house at the time, it was like, I was like, this is a cool friendship. And then she was leaving. And then it was like the whole cast, it just, you would have seen. It was a transformation. So many people had had were planning on going. And then the show was coming to an end. So, yeah, it was crazy. It was, it was really interesting for me to think, how does Wendy, how do I fit into all of this? But, um, yeah, yeah, you're right. It was a really nice, that was a really nice scene. And thank you for bringing that up. <laughs> I actually forgot about that. <laughs> And I mean, we must come to you as well, Emerald. I mean, for you, when you joined the show, you weren't really part of the Rodwells. You you were obviously separate to that. So what was that like joining a show, you know, and, and, and obviously having that really exciting storyline with the school fire and the bullying to, to you know, to, to not actually be officially part of the Rodwells at that point. That must have been quite interesting when you found out. Yeah. So when I originally got cast, I was just like the main girl you know, just starting up stuff. And then I filmed from like October till about December. And I was like, okay, I'm done. Cool, everything's great. Did my part. And then I get a call saying, oh, we actually kind of want you back just for March. I was like, okay, cool. And they're like, you can have a new family. I was like, first time hearing about this. And I think towards December, um, before I left for a bit, um, I met Candace and Lloyd and I was just like, ah, oh, cool, this is <laughs> something new, you know? And then um, we found out that we're actually moving onto the street and having a pretty major storyline in the show and that was just so cool. Like just getting to meet you guys and just, yeah, it's really nice. I mean, I was just going to ask you both, do you, I mean, were, were you fans of the show before joining Neighbours? And, and do you remember the first time you became aware of the show Neighbours? I mean, we'll come to you first, Candice. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like staring at everyone. Sorry. Um, yes, yes, I had been watching Neighbours. Um, I was, I was someone who watched it pretty full on until high school. And then I think my teenage years took over and you know, you start hanging out with your friends and you're not at home as much and um, studying and all that. And then coming back to it every now and then. And I was, I'd, it was funny because I'd watch the show and be filled in because my auntie is a huge fan. I cannot, I, I always feel like she should be in the UK. <laughs> She's just a huge fan. And it was so nice for her to be able to, like fill me in if I if I missed a week or whatever. And now they've got catch up on television. So I got to, you know, catch up and um, with what was happening, you know, what what um, what Paul had done this week, who he was in a dilemma with. Uh, but when, during my break of not watching it, I realised like Paul actually took this turn that he actually became quite manipulative, more manipulative than what I thought I saw when he was like, when I, when I w w was watching it when I was like 10, I was like, wow, this guy. But um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I was watching it on and off and then more full on when I got the role and I watch it and I, I watch M scenes and everything. And it really helps when you do your scenes, watching it and finding out what my daughter, Wendy's daughter, had been up to made it easier to kind of, understand where I was coming from and what dynamic there was. So there was another question, but it took over with my love of neighbours. So I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, I mean, obviously we'll come to you now, Emma. Do you remember the first time that you became aware of the show? And, and obviously, you know, were you a fan growing up? Well, I think Neighbours is a bit out of my like age range. You know, it's definitely like an older show. I definitely knew of it. And I remember being a kid, mum, because um, I live really close to the um, set and stuff. So I remember mum one time, she drove us to the court and she was like, oh, this is where Neighbours is filmed. I'm like, okay, mum, cool. Never seen the show. <laughs> it's fine. Don't really know what's going on. 
and then, but I always knew it was like around and it was a pretty big show here in Australia and the UK and yeah, it was a bit odd because everyone would come up to me like, oh, I've been watching it for like this many years and, you know, and I'm like, I've only started watching it since I've been on it, so <laughs> catch up. <laughs> But I mean, I mean, it must be so much fun because obviously a lot of when you first joined, obviously your character was very much um, considered a bit of a bully. We obviously soon found out that there was more to it than that. And actually she was you know, being led astray by her friend or her so-called friend. Um, so, I mean, to do that and to kind of get to see Sadie's nice side, that must be nice to really get to know the character and to kind of explore that character a lot more. Yeah, it was definitely odd going back and being like, oh, I'm nice now, like, sorry, and all that. But it was really um, nice as well just to be able to play both sides because I definitely wanted to. I was a bit sick of just being mean to Freya, who plays Zara, and just always being the bully and everyone just being like, oh, you started the fire, you did this, you did that. <laughs> no, no, I'm not actually like that. She's, she's actually nice, Sadie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, you obviously, you, 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 um, Candice, you touched upon there, obviously, now that, you know, the Rodwells have moved onto the street. That must be quite, I mean, when that first came about and you were told about that, what was, what was going through your mind? That must have been like a sort of a pinch me moment of, we've made it. I think the moment for us, and I think Em and I talked about it, and, and Lloyd as well, was when they told us, they came over and told us that we were going to have to come in super early one morning and film our intro to the show. And we were just like, huh? <laughs> we were only coming in, like, like um, Em had her storyline, you know, with Zara and Aubrey, that whole the school fire and resolving it all. And I was kind of uh, Andrew's wife on the show. But I don't know if we ever thought, we thought, oh, wouldn't it be cool? But it was so random when they were like, oh, yeah, you have to come in at uh, 6.15 to get ready for a 7.30 shoot. And we shot the scene out the front of Harold's and it literally took, what, like 20 minutes, Em? To yeah, do and it was freezing. Like, we were dying <laughs> while filming. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. And the food that they had out in front of us, like they had a black forest cake. And they had like the um, the milkshake for you, and trying to yeah. work out what our family would do in five yeah. seconds of shooting it. <laughs> <laughs> that was the moment, though, Matthew. That was the moment that I was like, "Okay, we're we're in the street. We've made it to Erin's <laughs> Yeah. I mean, it must be a little bit bittersweet in a way, because obviously being part of such an iconic show and, and getting to, to, you know, to be, a, be a part of it right at the end must be great. But at the same time, you don't, re you, you, although you've, you know, you've had a bit of time to explore the family, you don't really get to properly, you know, have that couple of years worth of getting to know the character and, and, and exploring where they can go. So that must be a bit disappointing and, and, and hard to, to know that you never get to properly explore those characters. Sorry. Um, yeah, I mean, sorry, I was talking. Emerald, do you want to answer that first? Like, I, Yeah, I think it's, it's upsetting. And it's, but it's like, you know, there's nothing we can do about it. But it's just like, I really would have liked to see where our family went and what happened, because I feel like there was so much potential there. And we definitely could have had a cr another crazy storyline for sure. So. Oh yeah, I I feel like I found out that Wendy, because she was so like the gift giving, the gift giving to everyone, and then you know online especially seeing comments of oh my goodness she's trying too hard she's so annoying <laughs> all this stuff. But for me the perspective was she was so full of anxiety because the street was so wonderful. And let's just forgive, you know, let's forgive Sadie because she was led astray. And then I found out recently that there was going to be, you know, an explanation as to why Wendy was the way that she was 
um, trying to get everyone to like her. And I, I would have loved to find that out. And I feel like it wasn't enough time. <laughs> it's like, it wasn't enough time. But it wasn't enough time to actually settle in. I don't know how you feel, Em, but I almost yeah. felt, yeah, when we were wrapping up, then I was like, okay, I'm ready. I, I'm on, I'm here now and I'm ready to work. Because I was so in my head about, oh my God, what's going on? But yeah, sorry, that was a long winded explanation. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what, that's one thing that I think a lot of the, I mean, I've noticed as well that, you know, people love, I mean, going, you know, talking to you, Candice, about, you know, your presence online, people are loving your interaction with the fans and, and, and the videos you do, you, you've given a lot of people a lot of pleasure with your behind the scenes and, and showing people how the sets look. I mean, for you, do you remember the first time you were on set and, and cause I mean, you did a video the other day in Harold's and you hadn't been in Harold's. I didn't realize that. <laughs> no, that's the one that I showed M. Yeah. And everyone's like, what? And I'm like, yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it literally, I don't know if you could tell by the video, but I was in awe of how much work went into it. Um, Sadie obviously worked in the cafe, so you were so used to it. And I was looking at it and I'm like, what? Like, there's an office out the back. There's a, a kitchen that's fully stocked. There's printouts of shift um rosters and everything and i just felt like because i'd been talking to so many people on twitter it was an opportunity that i was like i would want to show people because you can't just be like you're in the uk and be like well i'll just fly over and visit the free mental set if i had that feeling i i just love the thought that i could give that opportunity if only just a fraction to other people because that day, that video finally hit me that I wasn't going to have a scene in there and I actually got sad. That was the first time it hit me. It was so bizarre. Um, but, yeah, yeah, it was just, I don't know what it was. Maybe it was the, you know, Ian Smith was there in the background and I was like, this is really bizarre that this show isn't going to be going on because it's just when you're there, it takes your breath away. And I mean, Emerald, do you, on the last couple of days of filming, what was that like? How, was, how were emotions on the last couple of days? I, I feel like I, I feel like with me and Candice, we were like, we didn't feel like we'd been there long enough to be really sad about it or just feel, you know, sad. Unlike everyone else who was like coming back and they're like, oh, you know, like, but it was, it was really nice. Like the energy was definitely really high. Everyone was very happy and, yeah, it was sad to, like, walk around the lot um, for, like, the last time, for sure, especially since we'd done so many scenes there. And, yeah, it's sad that it's pretty much all gone now. Mm. All those memories <laughs> that people have made, they're just gone from the set, so... And I mean, obviously you got to work, you know, a lot of amazing people got to come back for the final. Did you get to work with any of the returning characters? And I mean, who are you excited to work with? Um, we, I think we didn't really get to work with them. Like it was just more like in the green room or like on the last like scene, everyone was kind of just there. We were just talking. And like, that was our only like interaction really, because our storyline kind of dropped off while everyone else was coming back. So it was like, we didn't really get to be around as much as I think we would have liked to, but it's, it was fine. Like it was a really, like the last day was really nice and it was just really nice to see everyone and a few people crying and it was just, it felt really like wholesome and like we've actually made something and made a difference in um, the years that it's been on the, on TV. So yeah. And I mean, yeah, Candy, absolutely. I was going to say, did you get to work with any of the returning cast? And I mean, obviously, you know, we know Kylie Minogue, Jason Donovan, Guy Pearce were back. Did you get to actually see any of them? Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? I wish I could say to you, yes, yes. Um, I, it was so funny because I was in the, the green room the morning that their stunt doubles had come in and they were just doing back shots. And then I went online and saw someone filming it and said they're on set 
Um, and I was like, hang on a second. I was sitting <laughs> I was like, did I miss that? Um, no, for Kylie and Jason um, or Guy, I didn't get to work with. Um, yeah, like I said, our storyline kind of was cut short because this another storyline happens, which I won't talk about. But I did get to work with Benji, who plays Malcolm Kennedy. Um, very, very lovely. Um, running into Natalie Bassingway in the, the, the change room, who is also very lovely. My big winner was when I met um, Ian Smith, Harold, and his lovely, lovely on-screen wife, Madge, came in. And I was like, I... I I didn't want to say a real name. I went, hello. <laughs> no, but she was beautiful as well. But Ian really was amazing. It feels like you're working with a true part of the neighbour's history. And he's lovely and funny and down to earth. And, um, and another person, Daniel McPherson. He was a breath of fresh air as a human being. He actually took the time. We were in the, um, I was sitting in the makeup chair and he came over and he took the time to talk to me and ask me who I was and how I was and who I was playing. And it really reminded me that when you're given an opportunity to be an actor, you don't have to lose yourself. You can still be grounded. And he really, as a human being, he really made my day. and. Yeah, it was, that was a really great experience talking with Daniel. Now, obviously, as we near to the end uh, of Neighbours, for you guys, where would you, I mean, obviously, without any spoilers, where would you like to see your characters come the end of the show? Is there kind of like a, a resolution that you would love to see as the show draws to an end? You know, personally, not necessarily that's going to happen, but what would you like to see for your characters as the show comes to an end? Um, I think just, more family things. I definitely, our favourite scenes are definitely film, filming in our house, in the living room, in the kitchen and stuff. And I feel like just a nice like family reunion sort of. Um, yeah, that would be really nice. <laughs> and just to really like take it all in and just go back to our house. Cause well, I feel like we didn't get enough time in there for sure. And yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we did not get up on it. Um, and it would have just been really nice to just have more family scenes, I think. Here, here. Yeah, because when we went back into the studio, I remember I went back and I was like, oh, I'll go film some stuff in the Rodwell house. It was gone. Gone, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It was like that. It was like yeah. that. We were only, I think we only did how many, like two weeks of filming in there? Was yeah, two? it yeah. wasn't long. And they put that together. There were just the amount of props and everything. And just like that, the next day, it was dismantled. And then there was another set there. And it was just crazy because I was like, well, that's the end of <laughs> the house. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know for what I think would be a great way for the family to sort of wrap up or whatnot. Um, I'd really love like, it would have been great for like a party where everyone like cut to when the Rodwells had fully been um, infiltrated into the street and everyone loved them and they were friends and there was still drama, but um, Maybe Wendy wasn't the annoying character. She'd become more of a, oh, that's Wendy. We love her anyway. Uh, that would have be, that would be nice if that would have eventuated. Let's I mean, imagine it eventuated. <laughs> I mean, if, if you were to meet Wendy, do you think you'd be friends? Do you think you'd get on? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I, and I, I think I would tell her to to tone it back a bit and and give people a chance to absorb what's happened. I mean, they moved into the street next to the Kennedys. So it's sort of like in reality, you can't, for, you can't force people to forgive you. You can't be like, yeah, Sadie's cool now. 
good to go. Uh, but I, yeah, I would be friends with Wendy. I think maybe, maybe in small doses. I think she'd be cool because she means well, and she. I don't think she'd be mean at all. So that's always a good thing for a, a person in the in the neighbourhood. And I mean, of course, Emerald, could you get on with Sadie? Do you think she's someone you would interact with? Oh, I don't know. The thing is, the way she is now, yeah, I would be friends with her. But back then when she was starting fights and all that, I don't know. I feel like I just find her very annoying and very, like, just go away. Don't. <laughs> I want to talk to you. Go away. <laughs> yeah, because although she was getting a bit manipulated, um, and I could, like, you know, what's the word? Resemble that, like relate to that a bit I still feel like I'd be like no you're a part of something bad don't want that energy so now yes then no <laughs> and I mean of course to be involved in those I mean uh, only a small part but to be involved in obviously yeah, Hendrix's death and and those scenes which were so powerful to watch I mean that must have been quite nice to have even just been a small part of that but to witness those those amazing scenes being being done yeah it was definitely sad when I got told that I killed him that was definitely like oh sorry sorry <laughs> but um it was definitely like cool to be able to have like a big connecting storyline to one of the main characters and it wasn't just me and my own little bubble just stirring up things um but that was definitely cool definitely everyone on in the green room and stuff I remember uh Richie who plays Levi he every anytime we saw each other be like you killed Hendrix, you started the fires, and that happened <laughs> up to the end, so yeah. Now I wanted to ask, of course, if for, you know, if one day the show was to return, where would you like to see your characters in, say, five years' time? How, how would you like their life to have panned out? I mean, we'll come to you first, Candice. Where would you like to see Wendy in five years' time? Oh, uh, I think she'd be a great manager at Lashes. I think that she would have worked her way up. Um, I think her and she would be answering to Trey's about, you know, the operations. Uh, I feel like her and her and Andrew would be still be going strong. He's probably up the rank. She oh, I think she's frozen. I think we've lost her. Don't worry, we'll get her back in a minute. But I'll come to you, um, Emerald. What would you say, where would you like to see Sadie going forward, uh, you know, in five years' time, for example? I don't know. I feel like, well, she'd definitely be about, like, 19, 20. So I think some, like, boyfriend drama, for sure, would, that would be cool. And just, like, I don't know, I think, like, trying to leave home and Wendy just wouldn't have it whatsoever. She'd be trying to, like, hold her back and definitely just, like, trying to just make herself a new life or even just trying to like get away from the street. You know what I mean? Like she's just, she can't deal with it anymore. I feel like that would be kind of cool. <laughs> oh, we got Candice back. So uh, we, oh, we got half, we got part of your answer. Don't worry. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, so you were saying about obviously uh, um, a, um, Andrew would have gone up the, the, the rank. So, I mean, I imagine you guys would want to be front and center on the street basically. Yeah. Which is really funny. Cause when you're there, it's like, there's the, you know, you're in a little kind of cul-de-sac and there's Harold's and then you've got Lassiter's opposite and then you've got the police station. So you pro we'd probably be seeing a lot of each other, which maybe that works for them because in fam we had family drama meetings where we'd have all the Rodwells together going over the scenes. And um, we were a family that really kind of tried to mm, up, up the ranks like we were all like come on we can do this I mean you saw the whole go Rodwell's thing uh I think that's that's how the whole thing would be and probably I I I hope that Wendy wouldn't hold Sadie back <laughs> <laughs> she wanted to go to university or you know study abroad maybe in the UK it would be like I'd be like yeah you'd be safe not please stay here or maybe I'd be like come with I'll come with you <laughs> yeah I just couldn't get away from you pretty much <laughs> <laughs> now obviously only being on the show for a short while were there any act, any sort of actors or characters that you didn't really get to interact with that you would have loved to have done more more scenes with I mean Candice who who would you have loved to have worked more with 
I would have loved to work more with, with Steph and Dennis. Uh, I had one, one little scene with him and it was like three words and I was so excited about it. Uh, and then it was gone like that. But I, I, it would have been great and it would have been quite funny if down the track, like, they had some sort of um, uh, tiff that went on between them. Because I think Wendy and him are so opposite that it would have made for, good, for some good drama, some good quality Neighbours TV. <laughs> and what about you, Emerald? Is there anyone that you would have loved to have done more scenes with? Definitely like um, Dimma or like Charlotte because like I'm I was pretty much the baby apart from the actual babies I'm I was the youngest <laughs> and I just feel like I got I was more in like the high school like um, drama I would have loved to like go over to the twenty year olds have some drama with them interact with them more because I I don't think I'd one scene with uh, Zimmer or anyone and then I'd one scene with Charlotte so I feel like that would have been really good. Now, I just want to say it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you both. You've been fantastic. Thank you for giving up your time to talk to us uh, here. And uh, yeah, think, you know, loving the show. Good luck for obviously the, the sort of the last couple of weeks, although you've already finished now. So that's probably not the best thing to say. But just thank you so much for your time. <laughs> thank you so much, Matthew. I, I, I know it took us a while to organise it, but I'm glad we finally did. And it probably helped the fact that now it's ended. There's like, we've all got so much more time. But um. Yeah, I'm so excited about the the watching the ending with everyone. I think it's going to be a real ride, and like like they say, hashtag celebrate neighbours. So exactly, <laughs> obviously the show continues one forty five and six o'clock here in the UK, and we know the last episode will air on the twenty eighth of July at nine o'clock. Yeah. So we get a big you know evening um, event to to watch that. Um, yeah, thank you to you both. It's been fantastic, and yeah, keep in contact. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. I'll see you online. <laughs> yeah.